been in Finland for less than two hours. This has already happened. We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who got married on a beach in 2018. And instead of a honeymoon, we decided to travel the world together. And so we created Tide Not Travelers. On March the 1st, 2020, we left our home and jobs behind us as we boarded a one-way flight. A few short weeks later, the global pandemic brought the whole world to a stop and all our travels were canceled. Undeterred, we stayed put and continued our adventure exploring the country we were in, Estonia. Between us, we have visited 51 countries and we'd love you to join us as we continue our travels and explore the world. After almost six months in Estonia and driving around the entire country, we spent our final days in Tallinn Old Town, catching up with friends and ticking off a few places that we wanted to see before we left, such as going inside Paterai Prison, which was truly haunting, learning about the communist terrors that took place there. We also made our way over to the Kumu Art Museum, as well as going to see the Christopher Nolan movie, Tenet, which was filmed right here in Tallinn. We enjoyed strolling along those cobbled streets a few more times and realised how lucky we are to have spent so long living in this city during such a unique time, where the streets have been empty of tourists. Tallinn really feels like home to us now, and packing up to leave was emotional, but we know we'll be back. We love it far too much not to. The day has finally arrived that we're actually going to leave Estonia. It's yeah. been such a long time, like five and a half months, nearly six months, just shy of that. And uh, we're actually going to leave we're today. We're actually packing up our final apartment here in Tallinn. I think we've lived in, I was counting Ellis, I think this is our seventh accommodation that we've lived in, just in Tallinn, let alone Around the Estonia as well that yeah, we've travelled to. Yeah, just in the five months that we, of it that we spent here in Tallinn. Yeah, a few, few accommodations. Crazy. Bit of a, an emotional time, an emotional day, um, but we are packing up because we haven't got that long left uh, to leave this apartment. It's a fantastic, beautiful apartment in yeah, Tallinn Old great. Town. We've been in a brilliant location for the last week. Which has been great because we're going to say goodbye to all of our friends that we've got here. All our friends, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we've been yeah. able to say goodbye to the people that we've met whilst we've been here and, and got friendly with, and it's just been really nice to have a little bit of time back in Tallinn. And they were really sad to it leave. feels like we could have done with more time. Well, we always need more time. <clears throat> Everywhere we go, we always need more time. But yeah. we're sad to leave, but also really excited to finally be going. And we're also kind of worried, once again, <laughs> the borders might close. Happen. Yeah. <laughs> Can't that... believe nearly six months later, we're still having these conversations and still thinking and worrying and about these the same things. Literally the last two or three days, um, things are closing in again. And we're sure borders are going to close within the coming weeks at some point. We're not sure when, what's going to happen. So but, once again, we're yeah. trying to run ahead of border closures, just like we were when we arrived here in Estonia. <laughs> Nearly six months ago. <laughs> Who knew? It's Who knew this was going to happen, absolutely huh? Absolutely crazy. But we have the ferry booked for six o'clock this afternoon. And we've given ourselves more time so that we can just have some time in Tallinn. We've got a few errands to run and, um, and then jump on the ferry. And we're going to finally make that crossing across the sea. And get to Finland, we to hope. Country <laughs> number... Country number five is on its way. <laughs> nearly, nearly yeah. there. We've got to get packed. Let's go. So we're finally all packed up. I think that's everything. And we're ready to go. Everything's in a bag. Or three. <laughs> <laughs> We've still got way too many bags. We How came away with two backpacks and two hold luggage each. And we're we've... down to two extra carrier bags now. We, were, we did have about five, now we're down to two. So <laughs> I think that's made. it. We've got everything. This is our lovely apartment. Well, a lot of work you. down here. Lovely long apartment with three windows and a living room. And a view a over there. Pickyarg. Not bad. So sort of right in the middle of the old town. Kotoisa viewing platform up there. And then that is Pickyarg. There's all our stuff. And we've got to carry all that stuff down some classic old town two flights of stairs. <laughs> it was fun getting it up here and now we've got to get it back down. There's two of those. It's pretty precarious. And the light's out. Grab my bag. So yeah, time to take all our stuff down these two flights of stairs. Here goes nothing. Stairs 
so, so narrow. I did. We have got to lose these. We did it, we got all our stuff down. Now we get to drag it across the cobbled streets <laughs> and find somewhere to store it for the day. I'm just gonna hold a camera while you do this. <laughs> I joke. The key is attached to my dog, yeah? Yes, yeah, we have the keys. Time to put the keys back in said padlock. Time to get to our bag drop and test our wheels on the cobbled street. That way. taking me. <laughs> We've just met up with Coit. We've arrived at his office. He's given us the keys to leave his bag there. What a hero. The only <laughs> downside is that we have to carry all this up another three flights of stairs. <laughs> we are getting a workout. Uh, we're going to sleep well tonight. Give him another proper hug. Yeah. <laughs> bye, Coit. Ready? <laughs> bye bye. Cheeky oh. second hug. <laughs> right, I want my second hug now. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave him hanging, <laughs> quick! Thank you so much, and thank you. Right, we'll see you later in the week. <laughs> Most likely. When Finland tomorrow. send us back. Can't leave anyway. Emotional. Oh, that was our final goodbye. Unless we do bump into anyone else. Or unless as we do we're get kicked back to us, don't we? Running on <laughs> errands. Apparently the, the cases are rising and I mean people are speculating that it's gonna close again. Gonna maybe be a week or so until the borders close. So who knows? It might happen today and we might end up back in Estonia <laughs> later today. We might get on so, the boat, get over there and they say, No, up oh, back you go. <laughs> after days of emotional goodbyes, emotional torture, <laughs> um, we'll probably be back here, which and they'll be like, we can't I won't get be sad about. <laughs> Absolutely love the place. Yeah, we are. We're a bit in love with Tallinn and yeah. Estonia. In case you hadn't noticed. <laughs> you probably figured that one I out. I mentioned it once or twice. Yeah. But right, we have a couple of errands to run. So we've got a bag full of plastic bottles. We've accumulated them over weeks and we haven't we managed to take them back to a recycling point yet. But they charge you more when you buy a drink with a plastic bottle. And the scheme is that if you return them to a recycling point, you get that money back for them. So yeah, that's the cents. first thing that we're going to do, 10 cents per bottle. The second thing we're going to do is we've got to return our Estonian IDs. So that's extremely important. <laughs> and sad. But, yeah. but we're not returning them. It's just it's like switching them from a, for an electronic one. So we still, we're still kind of registered here. So we're still... <laughs> then we're just going to give them back on loan. Yeah, they yeah, can have our cards probably. back on loan. Yeah. But, just while we yeah. finish off our travels, yeah. But hopefully then, we actually get to keep the physical card because... And then we yeah, have to send some stuff back to England. And then what is the most important thing we need to do? Uh, return the key to Coit. Yeah, yeah. To the tourist information <laughs> yeah, centre. Return the key to Coit. <laughs> Coit was just saying, please hours, don't forget to things. return the key because they can't get into their office without that. And uh, he was like, and just imagine you on the ferry, reaching into your pocket, <laughs> Why have I got this finding key? the key and being like, oh, never mind, chuck it overboard. <laughs> and then get ourselves into the ferry and on to country number five. So we're walking down to Viru Gate, the last little walks around really old town. Tallinn and views of everything. And let's so soak it all up. Soaking it in as much as we can. Check it out, Viru Gate. We've just arrived at Viru Shopping Centre and this is apparently where the plastic bottle depository machine or place is. But we've had a bit of a We've uh, gone up and down it. and round and round. <laughs> it's really unclear where it is. And I think we've just um, found it at the back of the car park, which is... So it's up on the fourth floor. You come out into the multi-storey car park and there's this. Uh, looks like it might be. A few more signs for it might be good. <laughs> That's crazy. Now let's have the fun task of figuring this out when we do. Didn't think it'd be in English. <laughs> Go and put a bottle in and see what happens. Oh, okay. Cool. So they give it back to me. I put it in, they give it back to me. Not really sure what to do with that. Press this button. Sure, make a t-shirt out of my bottle that you won't play. What does that even mean? It? There we go, 50-50 chance. You just have to put it in the bottom of the bottle first. I'm sure it says that. Oh, no, it didn't like that one. Is it full? Go 
Okay, it seems to have taken it now. Has it? Next bottle. I think it has to be a symmetrical bottle and it has to go in bottom first. That's the only way that's telling us that we've accrued 10 cents, so I'm not convinced we're going to get any money back. And also, you can see all the bottles at the far end which are clogging up, so I don't think this is even, even working because clearly no one's in there doing what needs to be done. Sure. Can't waste any more time on this. Okay. Press this button, getting absolutely nothing for it. <laughs> cool, good one. We tried. This is why the planet is suffering. Okay, it's, it's put in place, it's not working, be simple, it's not, not maintained. We had to it's try so really difficult hard. to get here, there's no incentive. We've now got a bag of bottles which are just going in the rubbish. We've got a lot of other things to do and failed on the first thing, it's frustrating but onwards and upwards and do better to recycle. We tried our best. Please Estonia, you've tried, really you've got this in place. Yeah. It just needs a little bit more of a push. They should, they should be everywhere and they should work. Right, off to take the IDs back. Let's hope we don't fail on that one. Here's our tram, our final one before we leave Estonia. Last little tram ride, and now we're at the North Tallinn Government Council, Council office. offices. Um, That's what's the confusing thing about trying to find the place. But we yeah. know where it is because we came here about six months ago or five months ago. So now we're, gonna we're back. Drop off our Estonian IDs. Hopefully they're not closed. We tried calling, got nowhere. I emailed them yesterday. I haven't heard anything back, and we're running out of time. So we just have to go here and hope. But they told us back in the beginning that. When we come to leave, we just have to turn up and give them back. So I yeah. hope they're correct in saying that because I can't get hold of anyone since then. It's Very here to on catch. Nin, yeah. and uh, this is the office up here. Poya Talena Velitsis. Perfect. It was open. That was really easy. Yeah, they were as lovely as last time. Filled out a quick form and she took our cards and obviously scanned them and changed that we're not registered to live to here anymore. To our UK address. But we still get to keep the cards. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Just obviously they're electronically changed. So. Yeah. Our then details so back. they know we've left Estonia. Yeah. They have a five year lifespan so they don't expire for another five years. We'll be back before then. <laughs> she said if you come back to Estonia just come back here. We'll re-register you very easily. So we're like yay. That's the second job ticked off successfully and really swiftly. Now we're going to go and post some stuff back to England. We've already got enough to carry around with us. So our last little to... telescopy <laughs> post it back and post uh, some cards to family and things like that. So we're just going to go and post some stuff back to England and a couple of postcards to friends and family and to our Patreon. Uh, thank you so much. Your Talon postcard is on its way as promised for being one of the first sign up and thank you for your ongoing support. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> it's hugely appreciated. Yeah, it means um, a lot to us and we can't wait to keep travelling around the world and show and share all of our adventures. <laughs> Absolutely. Off to the post office. Yeah, let's go. It's on its way to you. <laughs> Our last visit to Balti Yarm. Yeah, Balti Yarm to... On this trip anyway. Yes. Oh, and I love what they do with the drains. Started putting those paintings around the drains to say... To remind people the sea is right there. This is where your trash goes. This is where the sea begins. If you chuck your rubbish down here, it ends up in the sea. I need yeah. to do that in the UK. I really like that idea. It's I cool. think they do have them in London, but they're not kind of widespread in the UK from what I know, but really good idea. We're going to grab some lunch for the last time in Baltiam. And I've just convinced Kirsty to go to Huma Lakoda. I didn't need much convincing. <laughs> just suggested it. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, of course, it's let's go there. fantastic. It's so good. We love Huma Really Lakoda. nice atmosphere in there. The amount of times we've walked through here and come in here to get berries and lunch and fruit. All 
the smells of the Balti Arm. So happy we had to walk past here to get food. I need a coffee. After everything we've done this morning, I need a coffee. Coffee and food. So we were up late last night, so I'm going to We've sat outside many times, and you can tell it's autumn now. Yeah, they've packed everything away now. Autumn's coming. <laughs> I've ordered myself hummus and bread things again, which I love here. It's really good. And cappuccino, predictable, but this is why we're moving on, you see? We're getting too comfortable here. <laughs> Coming back to our favorite restaurants and ordering the same things. It's time to step out of our comfort zone. But I'm looking forward to our food coming and the garlic bread that we've got coming. <laughs> and they do some amazing lemonades here. So I've got a rhubarb lemonade. I found a love for rhubarb gin the other day. They do a local rhubarb gin and it was fantastic. So here they do this. Nice. We've also got garlic bread, which looks different here is fantastic just like little strips of black bread and you can see the little bits of garlic chopped up and cooked into it, it tastes awesome and they are doused and also a mini fish and chips with um, garlic mayonnaise and so I'm gonna be garlic towel yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah great. And the, the, I garlic, love garlic. the garlic bread here is seriously like doused in garlic smell of it for days afterwards which is why Craig loves it so much <laughs> and I love the view from here because you've got Tallinn train station here with all the trains coming in and out it's the end of the line so they stop here Tumpia Hill and the government building up there they can see the spire of St Mary's Church there you can see the Hellman Tower over here you've got Teleskivi the magnificent eagle painting and Depu is over there it's the end of summer and it's our last day here it feels kind of like oh it's kind of appropriate I guess like Bye, we've had a lovely summer here. Time for us to go and explore something new. But this is why Craig really likes Huma Lakoda, because you've got the view of the trains. <laughs> There's a kid in him. It's like, ooh, train station. <laughs> <laughs> Might be part of the reason. In the summer, like this is absolutely glorious being able to sit out here. As you may have seen from some of our previous videos where we've come here and had dinner out and celebrated. Go back. I keep saying that. Go back. Go back. <laughs> This is why I ordered the mini fish and chips. I may have already had it <laughs> on a different date, but look at it. That is fantastic for a lunch size portion and it tastes awesome. And I've basically got like poppadoms. Usually it's like these crisp flatbreads, but whatevs. It works, it tastes good. I like poppadoms, I like hummus, it's all good. <laughs> and last but not least, this is the famous black bread of Estonia. And this garlic bread is absolutely out of this world. It's very strong. And the sauce. But that is fantastic. And you can see the little white dots of garlic as well. It's crushed up coffee. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs> it's so good, that's so strong. You know you're having some garlic. Another lovely lunch in Huma Lakoda. Now we've got to go and head to the post office, get our things sent off. So we're going to head up to the Isti Post up by Alexander Nevsky. Really, really nice meal. Shout out to uh, Daniel as well. Thank Always you so much. He was fab. Yeah, <laughs> he's in the background there. <laughs> bye bye, Baltian. Walking through Baltiarm train station, we're gonna go past the art kiosk where we became famous. <laughs> where we spotted at first on that newspaper that time. On Crazy. that fateful day. <laughs> oh, the memories. <laughs> We've walked through here so many times, rushing through to the old town to meet with the guys for the acting and meet with Catherine from Echelet and just to stroll around the old town the and do our stuff. And now here we are strolling through for the last time. The great thing about going to this post office is that we get to go back up Tumpia Hill to the top of the Pat Cooley viewing platform. Yeah. It's so cool the way that all the errands we had to run today on our last day has actually resulted in taking us through all of our favourite places. Happy accident, we had to go back to the Balti Arm and oh we got to go to Huma Lakota for lunch. <laughs> oh, look at that, how'd that happen? <laughs> and now we've got to head back into the old town and you know we're walking past here so of course we're going to take this route. <laughs> Rude not to. I've got these steps. <laughs> How many there are? Talking and going up steps. Oh, what a pro. <laughs> <laughs> You've got this. That view 
never gets old. Trying to soak it all in. <laughs> it's not exactly the prettiest and sunniest of days, but you know, we're turning into autumn now and it's dry, so we're winning. <laughs> past the place of our final scene that Craig and I were in for the Tales of Revel movie that's coming out next month. It was right here, the Danish King's Garden entrance. Ah, oh, memories. <laughs> Ciao Ambrosius. The last errand of the day, just to pick up our luggage, a couple of flights of stairs, and then we've got to go and drop off the keys, and then we're off to the ferry port. Oh, this is deja vu. Done. <laughs> just need to get them over the old town cobbles again. It's going to be the last time we walk over these cobbles, so I'm going to enjoy it, even if my arms are falling off. <laughs> There's a pigeon trapped inside the tourist information centre. We are leaving with the quite here. Come on, buddy. This way. This way. This Go way. down. We've got a tea towel or something. You can scoop him into a tea towel. It's okay. It's okay. Just we want to keep him on the floor. We don't. Kirsty, if you stand by my bag. Mm -hmm. That's it. There we go. Easy. We did it. Oh, you did Done. It. We just, we literally just cornered him and guided him out. We walked him out. Just, just shepherd him, him out. Just walked the pigeon out. No more headaches for the pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> Final errand of the day done. We collected our bags and then dropped the keys back to the tourist information office here in Tallinnell town and saved a pigeon that was trapped inside there and the girl couldn't get him out. So, you know, our final hours and we're heroes to the pigeons. <laughs> it was really, really easy. We just kind of walked around and he, he kind of wandered out. And then now Craig's just ordering us a bolt and we're going to get to the ferry port. This is finally happening. Our final moments in Tallinn. Our final bolt has arrived. All the church bells are going off for us leaving. Church and here he is. <laughs> Perfect. Goodbye, old time. Time to go. I'm smiling so I don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, old town. Take your rolling chicken. Yes, 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 please. It's funny how it all played out. Broken dreams seldom get realized. For me, you were a part of life. Okay, we're just going back to Teleskivi really, aren't we? We're just going home to our old apartment. We're here at Terminal A, ready to go and check in for our ferry. It's finally happening and yeah, it still doesn't feel real that we're actually going to leave Estonia after almost six months. but. Apparently we are, this is it.
Rapper shopping bag. Till the next adventure, Talon. Going already? Yeah. Six months later already. <laughs> So this is it, it's time to say goodbye to we Tallinn do. and Estonia. Yeah, we feel sad, just like the weather, the sky is crying or Tallinn is crying as we leave. <laughs> I had a fantastic tour of the country and we've been back a week or so. Yeah. This last week has been absolutely mental, it's gone so quickly. <laughs> there has been some going out and doing things as well and saying goodbye to people. Yeah, lots of goodbyes um, to everyone, it's been emotional. cannot believe how quickly this week has gone and yeah, as Kirsty said, it's been extreme extremely <laughs> it's been extremely emotional um, I guess we'd just like to start with a shout out to all of you who have really um, made us really six helped months and tell it amazing made it absolutely really incredible helped. and for reaching out to us yeah, and you. helping us out while we've been here in Estonia yeah. and to all of you guys here our community on our YouTube channel thank you for all your recommendations whilst we've been here if they haven't disappointed yeah, at all. Yeah, and if you hadn't have said these places, we wouldn't have known about them. Obviously, we couldn't do everything, but we've done so many things, and that's because of you, so thank you. And keep them coming. As sad as we are to be leaving this beautiful country of Estonia, we all know that we didn't come this far to only come this far. So we have to continue on, come rain or shine, <laughs> and make our way over to Finland and explore and see what this world has to offer us. And hopefully this pandemic won't keep stopping everyone from doing everything because it's really sad watching um, people having to close that down again but we will get through this, we will go, we will keep showing you the world as we go. Yeah, absolutely. This isn't kind of how I imagine leaving. <laughs> I didn't imagine <laughs> I did. it. I thought Being it was going to this rain. wet and rainy, I've, I've left my jacket in my bag, which is in the bag store, which is now locked. I was prepared. Just went down to tell. get it and they blocked the door. We didn't expect to be here this long. I mean, I've actually found that five and a half, nearly six months in Tallinn actually hasn't been enough. There's still things that still we want to see and we haven't seen. But it's amazing, let alone Estonia. Yeah, but it's always good to have a reason to come back. We have tons of reasons to come back and we will come back. And all I will say is as well, it's not just the sky that's Absolutely. been crying today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I can't speak highly enough about Estonia and Tallinn. We will absolutely be back. I cannot wait to come back already. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, it's right there over our shoulders and yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you for so having fun. us. That's all we have left to say. Thank you so much for having yes. us in your beautiful country. Thank you so much. We hope to come back now. We're on to country number five at long last. Nearly. <laughs> we're not there yet. Okay, we're on to. <laughs> we'll see you when we get there. We're heading that way. <laughs> Don't want to leave my umbrella behind. But we're going to go inside now before I lose it. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. See you Cheers. In Take care. Bye.
didn't imagine the weather would be this nasty today. You can just see the TV tower over there, going behind the rain and the cloud, and the Soviet and the Estonian memorials over there. Someone's still out on their boat, right? I'm calling it a day there. <laughs> going inside. Bye, Tallinn. So Kirsty's been to the bar and got some alcohol. I'm gonna say cheers to Tallinn and Estonia, so it seems appropriate if I can get in it. I should have just gone for the classic for a second. Pop. <laughs> Sticking to the bottle now. Yours definitely looks the part more than mine. <laughs> cheers, cheers to Tallinn and Estonia. To Tallinn and Estonia, the brilliant <laughs> unexpected six months. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. Wow, that's sweet. <laughs> We're just arriving now in Finland, just grabbed our bags. It was a super smooth crossing and I can't believe that I booked this ferry yesterday. It only cost us not even 19 euros. And the reason I only booked it yesterday is because we're aware that things change so quickly and we learned from back in March with all the cancellations and stuff to just not book ahead too far. Less than 19 euros and it was for two adults to go from Tallinn to Helsinki and we had a great time. Two and a half hours of chilling in the bar and having a drink and watching the cutest old couple just dancing around and a couple of kids on the dance floor with the live band in the background. It's just really nice. It's like a ferry slash cruise this one. It's pretty cool. We're really happy, really excited to be here and we're just about to head down now and finally make our way to country number five. Let's go to Finland. Nearly in the next country. This has been the longest wait to go to a country ever. But as the saying goes, all good things come to those who wait, right? We've definitely waited. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. I wanna start up something new. I wanna see things I have never seen before. I'm tired of these city streets. And we have made it to, to country number five. Yay! We're at the port of Helsinki and we can't believe we're here and they were really good as we came through they handed us these little covid19 questionnaire check things so that's good and they were all in masks and things um it's really cool seeing everyone we, we heard about this that everyone just gets off of the ferry with all their crates of beer that they bought from estonia and it's so cheaper true over there cheap but, alcohol in estonia to come back to finland with so, but we yeah. have made it country Yay! number five <laughs> or 52 between us yeah <laughs> And now we've got to figure our way to our accommodation. So let's go. We'll see you there. Gonna get a taxi <laughs> and uh, yeah, figure out how far it is. Yeah. So apparently there's a few options for taxis in Helsinki. By far and away the most popular looks like an app called Taxi for Helsinki. That's very popular. Uh, another one is up and coming. It's called Wim. But apparently, with the research I've just done, Uber is the most affordable. So that's what we've done. We've got a Toyota Corolla coming our way. Apparently Uber were banned from Finland for a while but it looks like they've made a comeback for at least the foreseeable and I think I've just seen our taxi driver over there. That was a great timing. Perfect, thank you. Too many bags, not enough hands. Oh, yeah. I would go anywhere as long Yeah, thank you uh, so much. Bye -bye. Yeah, take care of yourself. There we go. We made it. We're here in Finland. Our accommodation for the next few nights. And we just found out we're right next to the main tram that takes us into the centre. So that's a good start. That's good. Thank you. More swing seats here too. 
already identified the Finnish newspaper that we want to get into. Ilta Sanomat. Give it maybe three months. Got the basics down already. Hey, or hello, and kitos for thank you. <laughs> thank you. Sideways. The moment of truth. Yay, single beds. There we get pushed together. Having been in Finland for less than two hours, this has already happened. Just went into the communal kitchen to cook Craig and I a bit of pasta for dinner. And there's a guy opposite me and he just turns to me and, and says, as I start cooking, I've literally just put the pot onto the, on the hob and I think it switched on, but it, it wasn't. Uh, and the, the guy just turns to me and says, are you finished? And I looked at him really confused and was like, no, I've just started. <laughs> I was like, what? And then he said, he said again, he he was then equally confused and he said, are you finished? And I went, oh no, no, I'm English. <laughs> Forgetting, I just got to Finland. Are you Finnish? Is, is what he was saying. <laughs> because then he tried to point out to me, he said, oh, you speak English. You need to turn the thing on at the wall to get the pan to heat up. Wow, what a muppet. <laughs> I explained to him what had happened in my head and he found it absolutely hilarious. So <laughs> there we go. That's... That's going well. Two hours in Finland and I've, I've messed up on are you Finnish already. Have to remember when someone says are you Finnish, they mean are you from Finland. That's fantastic. <laughs> Craig found it highly amusing. <laughs> Join us next time as we head out on our first day in Finland and explore the capital city, Helsinki. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at Tide Not Travelers for daily updates on what we're currently up to and what's coming up in our future videos. up against there so it doesn't roll down picky alg. <laughs> Try not to swipe my wife's legs away from her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the weight of that really pulled me down. I can't get in. Last little walks Through around Tallinn and it's Soak, soaking it all up. Soaking it in as much as we can. <laughs> Absorbing everything. Yeah. My pores are all, all wide open. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so gross. <laughs>